Caldery, Caldera, and that's a good one. The concept of walking and talking in Ireland and in Donegal is to bring people together in a beautiful countryside to show them the geography of the area, but also not only the geography, it's geology, the history, the background, the music. We do this as we walk along and see um, some of the most spectacular scenery that there is to offer in Ireland. The walks themselves are not uh, that strenuous. They're good physical activity. We would be out for four to five hours every day. This includes lunch breaks. We'll do coastal walks, hill walks, bog walks, bog through the turf. And all these give uh, people a real insight into how the physical landscape of Ireland has been formed because each day is different, each day varies. The kind of people we get are normally aged between um, 35 and 85. Some of my fittest walkers have been in their 70s, so we have people from different countries as well. Germany is a predominant part since I lived my life, well, some of my life in Germany and had a language school uh, for Germans here in Ireland, so the teaching background is involved too. Then, over the years now, people from Canada, from America, England, France, and mainly those countries would be the predominant uh, nationalities that I would get here. Groups are small, uh, I say a minimum of six and a maximum of twelve. Normally we'll have group size of six, seven, eight, nine. This gives us a chance to uh, get to know each other, become friends during the week and uh, accommodate our different likes and dislikes. The normal routes that we take will vary from normally we will have the sea all the time near us. Uh, we will do walks along Horn Head, it's one of the peninsulas here in Donegal, called Horn because when you look at it from a distance you see two pieces of rock headland sticking up that looks like a horn. Around that you then look at other parts of the coast, the northwest coast of the islands, Tory Island, and there are something spectacular parts like the blowhole where the water comes in and spouts up into the air through rocks, depending on the, on the waves. We also visit the Glenvey National Park, uh, one of the special jewels in the crown of Donegal. A uh, wonderful walk through a real wilderness at the start where you don't see houses or any... That's unusual nowadays in Ireland that you could always see perhaps a house in the distance. Walking down to the castle and visit these amazing gardens in the castle. Sometimes we get a tour of that from the head gardener. We also then would visit another park, Ards Forest Park, one of the most northerly parks in Ireland. An interesting concept because you have these 
wonderful forests going right down to the beaches. Then we go to Fanet, to a peninsula uh, where I actually live myself, and we do uh, beach walks there over sand dunes, rocks, long, long sandy beaches. And we go to the Fanet Lighthouse, one of the most spectacular lighthouses in Ireland. Sometimes we go down to Sleeve League, which are the highest sea cliffs in Europe, and one of the perhaps the most spectacular walks that you can do along the sea. It takes about five hours. We find, come down a hill onto a golden beach, and people run into the water, quite happy to refresh themselves there. That, in general, would be the idea behind it, walking, but bringing people together, I think, is one of the most important parts of it. And sometimes these people bond, they meet again, they come together maybe in other parts of the world, in Europe and so on, walking and talking on holiday. <laughs> so uh, for me, this is the most important and pleasant experience of it.